Hey everybody, welcome to our channel, Raleigh Gold Coin Dealers. I just wanted to do a quick video here on uh, unboxing some NGC coins. These are world coins. Um, we've never done an unboxing before, so I'm just trying this thing out. Um, these are, um, Cana there's I think one Canadian, some Mexican, and some from Bolivia. Uh, those are shipwreck coins. Um, the other ones are silver, Mexican, and uh, old Canadian scent. So we're just going to open these up and see how they graded. Let's see what we actually got. We had, you know, estimates before we sent them on what we thought these things would grade. So you, you got to do that for insurance reasons. And, you know, they want you to value the box when you ship it and you want to do it too figure out what the value is so you have to come up with some kind of pretty good idea to start with uh, before i do this let's have a word from our sponsors all right all right well let's get this thing open and see what we got see how these things came back I think I got all this cut. Looks like it'll go. Yeah. And then we also got lots of, well, this is some extra paperwork or something with these. Well, start with this one. This is the Canadian um, scent the first year, 1858. And what we were hoping for on this thing was like a, uh, 62, 63 type of grade. As you can see, it's nice and original. Uh, it's got some red on it, original red and brown. Let's see if you can get a little better lighting, man. So it's the toughest thing to do, right? Original red and brown, 1858. So it's the first year. It's a low mintage. Less than a half a million. I'm not going to be able to get a good. There you go. You can see a little better there. Some of that red and brown. And AU58. I guess I shouldn't be too surprised. It's right there at Mint State. They're stating just a drop of wear. Can't really get it in too good a focus being red and brown. We'll take a look at that one later. But that should still be worth hundreds of dollars, $500 or more. I was hoping to get more, but I think that's about what that's going to come to. Next is some Mexican Libertads, and these are earlier years, scarce years. Lower mintage, that's the 1994. Got a little bit of toning on a few marks, but not much. We need this to be uh, 67, 68 would be great. Somewhere around there. 66. That's a little bit disappointing. In it. It's a better coin, but in 66 grade, it's not going to be super valuable or as high valuable as what we wanted. I think this one's just a throwback. There's no point selling it. It probably won't bring enough money. So a coin like this will just turn around and just uh, hand it down to the grandkids. You pass this coin down two generations, and they realize later on that that, that uh, year, even in this condition, will be a lot better than what it is today. So that one will just be handed down. The next one's another Mexican Libertad here. A little bit more toning around the edges and stuff, but that's... You know, showing its originality. Never cleaned. Slight toning. Super nice, so that's gorgeous. This is the 1998. So it's also a really low mintage. And the same thing. This thing's hopefully a 68. That'll really help. 69. MS-69. Beautiful. I'm not going to argue with that one. I mean, it's a beautiful coin, but 
I don't know if any have even ever 70. Probably some have, but my guess would be not many at all because these, most of the time these will grade, you know, like a 67 or so, if they're gradable. I mean, a lot of times these are bag marked so bad and scratched or cleaned or polished that they won't even grade. So very pleased with that one. Next, we got a really thick holder. This is going to be the shipwreck. So these are Bolivia, eight reals, Spanish cross on there. You notice that they're not perfectly round. You can see uh, they're just odd shaped and stuff like that. These are old cobs. That's the way they were made. About 88% silver, something like that, I believe. Not quite, you know, 90 like we make today or something like that. They weren't refined quite as good. You can see the date on it nice, though. 1766. That was a piece of eight. This is the old Spanish uh, eight reals, you know, pirate treasure type of coins. That's what they wanted was these pieces of eight. And this one, AU details, which that's excellent. Environmental damage. Well, of course it is. It's a shipwreck coin. Well, most of that, like this down here, this flat spot had to do with when it was struck. That's not damage. That's, you know, when the coin was made. But it's in a really thick holder. Uh, but that's still qu quite nice for this one, even though they're, I mean, it, the shipwreck, a lot of these did circulate a little bit more, have more wear on. So a lot of times they're VF and XF. So AU details is going to be still pretty valuable on this piece. I love these coins. That's a great one. All right, and then one more, Bolivia, shipwreck coin. You can tell it's also got great detail. It's hard to probably get a super good, zoom this in really good, because it's odd, you know, shaped and everything like that. They're not perfectly flat. They're not perfectly round. Nice, though. There's a crown here. Crowned F. That was a punch mark put on later. And the crack down here, that's uh, cracked uh, planchet when it was struck. And same thing. They're calling it the environmental damage, which is really saltwater damage from this thing being in a shipwreck. XF details. That's going to be quite nice, too, though. Another, another shipwreck coin that's coming in with XF details. That's going to also be pretty good. So that was it for these world coins. It was just a small little group. Only five coins in there. Uh, but they're all pretty valuable. One of them, what do we have? The 94. Yeah, the second one there. That that one's... That one we're not going to worry about. That one was a mistake. Apparently, we're going to have to learn a little bit more on grading these Mexican ones. That's a little one grade below what we needed or something. All right, well, thanks again for watching. Just a quick video on uh, unboxing some NGC World Coins from Raleigh Gold Coin Dealers. All right, folks, so there you have it. These are the four that we're going to end up putting on the website. Like I say, that one uh, 1994 Mexico Libertad, we're not even going to put that for sale. Um, but these other ones are. These will be listed. You'll be able to find it under the product listing. Um, so whether you're looking for the Canadian large scent, they're very, very, very scarce. I'm sure high grade. We're going to look into this uh, 1998 or either one of these shipwreck coins. So these things are going to be put up here, you know, sometime this week, next few days. We're going to get around to getting these things on. All right. Thanks again for watching another video and stay tuned for more.